Oh, there you go. There we go. That's a good fish. That can't be a white bass. That's a good fish. Taking fire. We were taking, we were literally taking fire. Oh, oh there's a tree right there. It's coming. Oh, this is trays up there. <laughs> Welcome back to the Guggen Squad. Today, we are gonna be feeding a pet bass. Let's go. Right here? Yeah, all of them. Right in the middle. You think you're gonna eat all of them? Yep. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's, oh, oh, oh. 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 Bless him. <laughs> oh man. Oh, he's mad. He just yeah. ate like three of them at the oh. same time. Get so many in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even swallow it. Gary's just back. Oh, he just spit out like five of them. <laughs> He's got so many in his mouth. <laughs> it's like snacks, just like popping them around. I see how much. Not chasing them around. Do bass know like when to stop yeah. eating or do they just keep on going? That's a very good question. Look at the fish. He's just, <laughs> just trying to swim in his mouth. Do bass like know when to stop? So they just eat like. It's so cool to watch him actually eat that. What? Oh. Ooh. He's not smoking at all. Gary's gonna Ooh. weigh like another two Ooh, pounds. Oh, he didn't like that one. <laughs> yeah, look, Gary's just overwhelmed now. He's just got his belly resting on the rock right here. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, Gary's full. He just gained yeah. like two pounds. Doesn't he eat for another week. He was a three pounder, probably weighs five pounds now. Easily. He ate like five at the same time, and I think he's good. Yeah, I, he's, mean, I think, look, he's, he's just not even moving. He's yeah. just sitting on the rock. That's crazy. I, dude, I need a pet bass like in my house. Yeah, yeah is, no joke. This is crazy. We just got done feeding the pet bass. I just got my boat cleaned up, kind of from yesterday. We did a tournament. How was that? Oof. It was. <laughs> not, not, it was tough, but it was a ton of fun. Yeah. It was definitely a grind. <laughs> definitely a grind. There's so many lakes in Texas that it's overwhelming to choose the right one. John and I were overhyped on this lake. Was not the right choice. But today, Rackley is actually out fishing another lake near the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So these guys are going to hop in the boat with Rackley. Um, I'm not really sure. Did he tell you anything about like bites I or anything? I think he said, um, he, asked if, he asked us if we had caught white bass or crappie. Yeah. And we said, like, we've caught some crappie, but never some white bass. So I think he might be on a white bass bite. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, all he said was he was running out of bandito bugs. So we got a ton of them right here. We're bringing reinforcements. Yeah. But yeah, none of us have ever caught white bass before, but tons of crappie. That's the plan. I'm staying here because um, the CEO told me that if I don't clean up my life, I'm going to actually get fired this time, so I have to clean the garage up. Yeah. Good luck fishing. If you guys do catch something, text me, let me know. Yeah. For, for sure. sure. Cool? Yep. All right. Ready to catch your first white bass today? Yeah, I'm stoked, dude. I'm pumped. I don't even know. I know we caught hybrids with Lojo yeah. like two weeks ago. Yeah. That was a ton of fun, and I guess a white bass and a striper make a hybrid. So we've caught the yeah. hybrids, we haven't caught white bass. I've never caught a striper either, so a new species any day is always yeah. a ton of fun. It'd be a new PB for sure. Heck yeah, Let's even if it's an ounce, new yeah. PB. Let's do it. We're gonna we'll see you guys there. Let's go. Well, there's not even any water here. Dude, this is no way, no way is this going There's no way. There's no way this is right. I'm almost positive we're like, we're not where we're supposed to be right now because there isn't really any water near us, but there's a there's like a river that way that we could walk through, like, or walk to. It's like a mile. Yeah, we're almost a mile that way. Well, like, let's get start, start walking. Good thing get some we, cardio in. 
Good thing we brought the old Lamborghinis today. Wait, you put them in sport mode though. Oh yeah. There's all kinds of snakes out here. Man. <laughs> One mile later, we have found the water. We haven't found Rackley yet, but he needs us because we have all the lures he needs. So hopefully we're at the right spot. I think we are, there's water here. I hope we are, that was a long walk. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like, this looks like a spot too. I know nothing about white bass, but they could be swimming right up in this creek. Yeah. I'm super pumped to get on this new species. Uh, should we try calling them? We don't have any cell phone services, like the main problem. Let's see. No service. No service. Zero. Nice, I guess we'll just wait. Yeah, make smoke, a, smoke, signals. <laughs> make smoke, smoke signals. Smoke signals, yeah. Make a sign on a stick. That's straight iron. Uh, it's in the. It's in I, I hit arms yesterday. It's yeah, 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 yeah. I, I normally uh, fresh. I'd be able to Eight do tacos it. before this. Yeah, yeah. Guys, yeah, it's just been like 20 minutes. We're just hanging out under the bridge. And we're kind of getting bored, so we're just trying to lift things. I found this though. Who's that? Yeah. I'm pretty that's sure that's uh, that's for hit, your boat. Hit the thing. That's a call right there, by the way. Hit that. Hit the. That's a car. I really wish we would have brought fishing rods. I'm just happy we found water. Yeah. Like, I think we're in the right spot, but we're just kind of waiting and hoping he shows up. <laughs> um, and if he doesn't, if we're on the wrong river. He's like, no, I'm in the nothing. river two hours down the road, <laughs> east, not west. <laughs> we can slide down this. We well, finally found Rackley. Um, should we slide down that? Oh, How do we look, get there's the this? Boat? The camera is not going to do this any justice. This hill is like this. I'm not even kidding. Just like that. It's just. I don't even think it's, it's like a wall. It's not even a hill. It's a wall. It's like 89 degrees. Like how many bachelor degrees I have? Yeah. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we finally found Rackley. He was so kind as to come very far back in this creek and pick us up in the middle of I don't even know where. Yeah, we, I came up to the highway <laughs> to get you guys, but. It was strategic. I thought that the white bass might be running up here. I saw some at the base of the river, but they're not all the way up here yet. So we're gonna run back down. Okay. And try to find the fish, and then uh, yeah, we're gonna see where this journey takes us. As you can see, it's, uh, it's quite a quite a zoo up here. Yeah. A lot of little kayaks and boats, and lay downs. And pretty sketchy spot, nonetheless. It's pretty, yeah. It's pretty sketchy. There's a couple of hobo camps yeah. on shore. Quite a few hogs, and uh, that's me. Oh, video. Yeah, <laughs> y'all are on camera. Say what's Say up. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Everywhere you go, yeah, there's a dangler. Yeah, always. Thank you. We got another one down here. Literally. You don't know who you just brought in your boat, by the way. This is... <laughs> oh, there we go. Heads up. Quite a start. It's been a while, guys, since I've thrown like a spinning combo. Uh, in Florida, we're, we're blessed enough that we can throw bait casters year round. But it is nice, you know, to pick up the old spinning combo every once in a while. And uh, the tiny crankbaits, too. I actually never throw crankbaits besides lipless because water gets like max five foot deep where I live. So this is a, a nice change in pace. Hot action. Do we have the white bass? Are they running? Or is it the crappies? It is the white bass. Might be making a move. Mid river. Got a little crap jig. That's the first ever white bass there. I've seen in person. Oh, they're a little tasty, man. I mean, they, they get about three times that size, but that one is Probably keep her size. Slap the sides off of it, put it in some grease. Oh, I just got hit got so smacked. hard. Yeah, same spot. Yeah. That might have been a white bass that I saw on the Grafton. Yeah. There's like a little little group right here. And just some randoms down this creek. So they're just starting to come up here. They, uh, their spawn, they run up creeks and pockets, anything that has current. When it gets about 60 degrees, okay. Uh, in any 
little rain that happens that triggers current they'll, they'll just wad up and start spawning so we just need a little bit of rain and this place will be a, a teeming wad of white bass there we go is this a largemouth is a crappie Ooh. it is the crappie he's been eating good that is a fate ladies and gentlemen i believe that is an eater size i do have a frying pan mm. hello he's blood pumping Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. That, that tree right there. It's coming. <laughs> taking, <laughs> taking fire, <laughs> Phil. Oh, oh, Phil. Shit, bro. That hit the tree like 10 yards away from us, dude. It was right up there. We're uh, taking fire. We are taking, we we're literally taking fire. We were kind of joking a minute ago. There's some 22 fire back here. This has happened to me once before. Yeah while fishing and it's not fun no it's like literally that yeah no not good we hit, so there's somebody firing a 22 back there and a bullet i heard the first one hit a tree over here and the second one came across over us you hear a phew and it hit a tree over here so uh Jeez. hey we're back here hey hit the one I on the i like this they don't like us no we're back here trying to fish man <laughs> That was the closest I've ever had a bullet come to me before. It, was, it wasn't that close, but it was like, it was probably half a football field. Oh, there's a fish just jumped. Close enough for us to <laughs> hit the deck. Out the middle? Yep, right out in the oh, middle. It came off right there. Dude, what, did you get your bike kind of under the boat? Yeah, just probably seven, eight feet off, off the boat right okay, there. Yeah, it was, uh, I, saw, I saw some creatures. Yeah, that was them. Hopefully that guy heard us say something. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, we're fishing. Stop firing, you son of a. Oh, right here, right here, right here behind the boat. What White that? bass. White bass, baby, let's go. Well, first, 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 white bass that I've ever caught. It's ever. Ten inches. There we go. <laughs> So, Rack, are these eating fish or? Oh, yeah, these are all little tasties, yeah. Okay. Uh, same as crappie in Texas, they gotta be 10 inches. That one might be borderline. It might be nine and three quarters. If I had to, had to guess, but if it's 10, put it in. If it's 10, it's in. I don't know if that's 10, boys. <laughs> Will we pinch the tail? There we go. Yeah, he's 10. 10 on the dot. 10 on the dot. 10 on the dot. There we go. Does it matter what side he goes in? In he goes. It's a little snack size. Now let's try to catch something slightly bigger. Wait a minute, no. It's a, it's a white bass, I think. Or is it a crappie? It is a little crappie. Crappie on a giant wood pile section. That one's not gonna make the cut. But I'm thinking there might be something else right here. We got a split in the, uh, the creek a huge log jam right in the middle of it. This looks like a good spot for all kinds of fish to hang out. <laughs> Wait, that's, that's, wow, that's a little snapping turtle, dude. What? Watch your finger. Yeah, baby snapper. I didn't even feel it. Just like a Florida man to raise a little snapper. Didn't even feel him. Well, how about that? I've never seen anyone catch a snapping turtle. Well, you know what? That's a world's first snapping turtle caught on New a mini bagger. New PB? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, that looks dangerous. Yeah, it might come out. <laughs> that looks turtle. dangerous, yeah. Look at the bottom lip. I bet if you put your rod tip over there, it's snapping right off. Yeah. All right, my man, we're going to let you go. Let him go, let him grow, right? There he goes. Well, at least I didn't get skunked. A lot of sailboats out there. 
Okay, so uh, went to another area, didn't work out. Now we're, we're on the main lake. Big main lake point where, hey, if they're gonna go in there, they gotta stop here. Got some fish marked, but they're they're not wadded up, they're spread out. So just gonna make some fan casts, gonna work some baits around these fish and see if they're interested in biting or not mating. What you doing? Oh! Just got popped. So four feet off the bottom. Not how we get for hammer baits. Worms, nothing. Oh, there we go. Oh, there you go. There we go. There he is. That's a good fish. That can't be a white bass. That's a good fish. Wait a second. It's fighting a little bit too hard. What, you what is it? Oh my oh, god. What is that? That's a drum. Oh my gosh. That thing is giant. Oh my gosh. It ate it too. It ate it in the mouth. What in the world? Is that a carp? It's a yeah. drum, is it? No, it's a buffalo carp. <laughs> I've never seen one hooked in the mouth. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> that's, that's freaking huge. That's a new PB. <laughs> I was about to say, that looks a little bigger than a white bass. God, that's a big, that's a giant fish, dude. Sucking on my finger, that's weird. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna bend down a little bit so I, in case she goes flying. Oh my gosh. Well, okay, I guess she was ready to go. That is uh, the first time that it's ever happened in my life. Don't know if it'll be the last, but it was definitely the first. I've never seen that either. I just, you know, sometimes, I don't know what it is, I just make random once in a lifetime things happen. I don't know how I do it, it just happens. <laughs> I thought I had the lake record for a second. I was like, just doubled over. Dude, those things fight hard. That thing ate this. What? What sense does that even make? I'll take it though, new PB. You worked him up like he was nothing too. Like you just, well, I mean, he just came up. Cause... Yeah, because of the gym and stuff, yeah, right? No. So that was a freshwater uh, buffalo carp. And I've never seen one caught on a lure, and that one ate it in the mouth, uh, which was weird. He must have just had that perfectly placed in front of that fish where all I had to do is say, yeah, I might take a stab at a shad, why not? And just incredible. So those things fight really hard. I used to catch them uh, back in the day on like doe bait, um, but I, yeah, never seen one caught on a hard lure. Insane. Just like when Norm and I were vertical jigging in 400 feet of water for Amberjack. Three pumps, <laughs> let it drop. Yeah, three pumps, let it drop. And then I just, that third pump, it was just, bah, he was there. It's crazy. Weird. Oh, no. Uh, no, I would go back to the big bait 100%. Oh, I finally got one. Yes! Let's go! Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Oh, it, it ate it right there. Guys, my first ever white bass, and it, that's definitely got to be 10 inches, so we oh, can eat yeah. this, right? Yeah. Sweet. Man, I've been watching these that. guys catch every species known to mankind. I was getting a little bit jealous. And finally, got myself my first white bass. Where are the pliers at? What in the world? Guys, it's always a good day, because it's not every day you get to catch yourself a new species. Brackley, you know if these uh, swim in Florida, or no? Because I know we have uh, hybrids and stripers. I don't know if we have, I guess that would mean there would be white bass in hybrids, maybe. Widespread, but yeah. I bet in some of your canals. Oh, sweet. Yeah, there's a group of white bass right here in the back. Guys, check that out. Wait. How big do these get? Like, what's the max? Uh, that's probably like the average size. And okay. then uh, a giant would be like, uh, you know, two, two and a half pounds. Jeez, all right. Giant. She's bleeding a little bit. Yeah, just stick, stick her back in the well. All right. She's, she's going in. Rinse. I think we'll get bloody here in a minute anyway. I'm so glad I caught one, man. 
because I kind of wanted to eat my own fish too. It makes it more of an experience. Oh, there we go. Well, we got a little bit of rain. There should be like yeah. thousands of those back in here, but yep. just don't have that. I see some on the graph. They're literally just hanging here waiting. I just yeah, ran this by their face like four times and got nothing. It snatched out of the boat, dude. It scared me so much. <laughs> like I was pulling it out of the water and he was, he fought it all eating. the way up. I saw I was it like, oh. right here. <laughs> you didn't even crank your handle to pull it up. You just pulled, lifted your right. rod tip. That's a day right. complete for me. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm going down on a mercury. the water what happened today <laughs> a everything. lot of everything a lot <laughs> of everything. easier question is just to ask like what didn't happen yeah. today really that was one of the <laughs> the craziest fishing experiences i've had ever like, yeah. yeah between getting fired upon uh i picked you guys up in a really weird spot too yeah. total yeah. adventure getting there we caught everything uh besides white bass it seemed <laughs> and then we did catch some white bass uh they weren't schooling up like crazy but uh, you got to experience first. Yeah, first yeah. White bass thank you for that. Was fun. And my first uh, snapping turtle, and my first buffalo carp. PB. Yeah, uh, oh, PB, lots buffalo, of PBs broken yeah. today. Lots of PBs broken today. Pretty crazy. I got the fish in the boat. Um, we were gonna do a catch and cook, but since so much other stuff has happened here today, yeah. it would be too long of a video title for you guys to read, read through. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna take them back, put them in the grease for the fam this weekend. But. Uh, one of the craziest vlogs we've had uh, yeah, here in a while. Hands down, yeah. So no more craziness to come here at the Guggen Squad, as you know. Before we get out of here, guys, be on the lookout for the new Dangler merch we've got. We've got shirts, hats. Thank you for tuning in so much. Go ahead and smash that like button for craziness. And if you want to see more, subscribe. We'll see you on another episode of the Guggen Squad. <laughs>